Hi guys, this is Karen Cochran Hall from Tara Biscandalo and ClientMarketingSolutions.com. In the last few uh, weeks, we've had quite a few queries and quandaries from our clients who we do the payroll accountancy for, um, that we prepare the nominees and um, the contracts, etc. And there seems to be a lot of doubt and questions around what the uh, the figure of a pre-contract before you can actually contract someone as an employee to your business in Spain. If that person is a foreigner, in this case we normally deal with a lot of British people or Irish people, um, they've just arrived on the island. The worker, you like the worker, you've interviewed the person and you'd like to offer them uh, a, a post or a, an employment. What are the procedures? Obviously, <clears throat> the first thing that that person must have is an NIE number. They have to have a, a, a passport or an ID card, a valid ID card or, or up-to-date passport from their country of origin. We're not talking about European countries here, EU countries, which will change in the future with the Brexit, but we will see in the next two years what happens. But anyway, that's, that's another conversation, that's another video. Um, so what do you have to do? <clears throat> the person has to have a pre-contract. They have to have the offer of employment. And um, I've had a couple of clients who've been worried because unfortunately they offer the um, the contract or the pre-contract to the work to a worker. And then when the, uh, the actual worker goes to the official bodies and gets the paperwork, their NIEs and their um, social security numbers so that they can actually contract, i.e. put them into the social security system here in Spain, the worker basically buggers off and it, they, they never come back. And, and then the, the question or the query is, what do I now do? Do I have this person in the system? I, I am, am I liable for, to pay social security and tax for this person? What are the legal requirements? Well, this video today is to basically clarify the following. You have given an offer, you've given it, put it in writing, obviously in Spanish, because we're in Spain. And all we do with that is it's a private contract or a private matter or private paper between two parties, someone who wants an employment and someone who's offering the employment. Um, unless you actually get the social security for that worker and process the worker into the system, into the social security and do what we call in Spanish an alta, um, as a worker for your firm, you have no legal obligation if the person doesn't turn in, uh, you know, doesn't come back with the social security number so that you can complete the process. In other words, the secret word here is complete the process. The secret phrase is complete the process. If you haven't uh, got a social security and an NIE number back for this person, you cannot complete the process. Therefore, there is no legal obligation either to the worker um, or to the social security in Spain or to the, uh, the Spanish equivalent of the inland revenue, the Hacienda. You have no obligation, so you have nothing further to worry about. I've had quite a few clients who've been worried and unfortunately it seems to be recently that the workforce um, is a little bit flighty and they come and they accept employment, you do the, the paperwork and then they basically go elsewhere. So folks, I hope that that's qualified um, what, you, uh, what your legal obligations are towards a worker when you have um, people in your employment and you want to offer an employment to someone else. Um, if you have any further queries, um, please PM me or uh, send me an email to kch at taracondado.com. That's kch at taracondado.com. And uh, I'll see what I can do. And if you have any queries relative employment, uh, taxation, business setups, etc., etc., please. Um, let me know, PM me or send me an email or just write down uh, uh, below what uh, you actually would like to hear more about and I'll see what I can do if I have the knowledge. Um, I'm sure I will make a big effort to help you. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope it's clarified um, certain issues and obviously put your mind at rest um, on the pre-contract scenario. So have a great rest of the day. Uh, God bless and speak soon. Bye.